and like a judge you for for them to vote my party all out my party my uh, APC to vote a president senate as of and as of assembly and now our governor Amebu Sonwo that is the first message that we have been passing around your constituency can you tell us a bit about how extensive it is what was which area does it cover um, I covered, my constituency has uh, 14 wards and uh, about uh, 560 pulling boots and uh, from Ijesha, bus stop, down to Apple Junction, my two, both side, Kiri Kiri, um, Uriya Day, local government generally up to trade fair. That is where my constituency is, and I have uh, 14 words. That's all. Okay, you, you, um, you are known from your talking about to be a very tough politician. Uh, and I'm wondering how you intend to, uh, what gives you the confidence that these areas are like a walk over for you when the election comes? Um, the confidence that I have is that I'm one of them, I'm part of them. And um, I'm tested, trusted, tested and trusted. I have been in the House of Assembly for four years, uh, presently in the Commission, and not as a legislator, but I know the terrain. And people in the constituency, they know me very well, because I've done a lot of things. Um, by the special grace of God Almighty, um, I will surprise them again because I surprised them in 2007 to 2011. What was the experience like at that time? People used to ask me the experience. The experience is uh, it's very, very okay. Yoruba, they say, and Toba Maje, you know, Akbata, Konyubo, Enuake. That means you want to eat uh, only from the. From the uh, uh, what do they call it? Akpata. From the rock. Like Ulumo rock. You know how Ulumo rock is very difficult to get to. But then for somebody to say, I want to eat the onion from that place. You know you are going to dig the place before you can easily get the onion. So that's the issue. Um, I, I don't see any challenges. The challenges that we have is to convince people. You know to convince people is not an easy something. And to manage a place that is more than uh, 5 million is not an easy tax at all. But I've been, uh, I've been trying that. I have used to that. Then I will continue to put in my efforts so that I could be able to capture everywhere. Okay. How do you see the challenge that would come from the population? Party? I don't see such challenges. Once you have your once you have your own work very well. I've been in this place, as I said, till date, almost 11 years back. I bring back the dividends of democracy to the grassroots. And once you have a grassroots, there won't be any difficulty. The opposition, the other party that you are talking about, they are nowhere to be found in this place. And I don't think so. This time around that I come out as a suffrage, no way. There is no way they can capture this place. They used an opportunity four years back and they are already gone. Both Assembly and the House of Rep, they are already gone. Okay, what keeps you going in politics? I know you've been in politics for a long time. What has kept you going in politics? I was born into politics. So since I was young, I have determined to be a politician and I'm a good giver. Without being so politics, I cannot be giving people and I cannot be reaching to people, reach out to people the way I do. They will be thinking you are doing sacrifice to make money. But if you are a politician, they send you to somewhere else. Definitely, you must come back to come and give them a feedback. That means you will allow people, the grassroots, everybody, leaders, uh, the electorate to enjoy the dividends of uh, democracy. Like how many years in all now, if you look at how many years you've been in, in politics? And how I've, you been, I've been into politics since 1999. Mm. 
that I've been a politician. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been with uh, MPN, UPN, SDP, DDN, and others. That is something like Yes, okay. which I have a vibrant and the position when I was there. Mm. Even PDP, the, the, the failure party, mm. I was there before and contested mm. twice mm. without gaining nothing, without seeing anything. Mm. Before I joined ACA, ACP, ACA. Mm. Yes. But how do you also see the performance of um, ABC at the federal level in the last four years? The, uh, the federal level, we are trying. Only if I make a recommendation too much, people will believe because I'm that party. It's not an easy task for some for a party to be uh, to be on throne for 16 years. Things has gone. Things have gone bad, and it's very easy to demolish a house, but for you to reconstruct a house is not an easy issue. That is what is happening. But very soon, in the next few years, we will get there. We are trying, we are performing very well. Um, when you were born, did you ever think you were going to politics at some point? That is what I said earlier. My late mother was a politician, a core politician, while my late father was a police officer. Since I've been going to the meeting with my mother, I've determined to be a politician. And I pray seriously to God Almighty. One day, one day in 2011, God crowned my effort and answered my prayer. And when your mom was in position, was in Lagos or what? In Lagos, in Moshi. My, my father was born here at Moshi. My late mother was born there as well. My great grandmother was born here, there as well. We are part of a solo family. We are part of a boy family. Why my grandfather, the father that born my late mother, was a police officer? was from Ilife mm. originally. So how do you, when, when you, um, since you've been in politics, uh, how do you always also find, uh, find all the various uh, challenges that have come your way in your mind? When I was in the assembly, and since I joined politics, I don't count myself as a woman. Okay. I count myself as a man. If by the time I go to the House of Assembly, I can see that it's another institution entirely. When you get there, even in the House of Prayer, you believe that you are not a woman. But because what a man can do, a woman can do it also. That is what we women that contest. That is what we are trying to prove for the whole world. When a lot of, um, um, a lot of young ladies put you for advice on how can they rise the way you do and all that. What are the kind of advice you always give them? I always give them an advice to join politics, to partake in politics. Okay. Even I'm not happy this time around, we couldn't come out the way I expected. Mm -hmm. You know, the lady, lady, ladies from Lagos that got the house of rep for me, I think we are just like five or six. Mm -hmm. I was, it was not an impressive uh, uh, Yes, so I was not happy. People don't want to join politics. They believe it's a tough question. It's very, very, it's very, very difficult to to to, to get to a position. And it's not whatever you want to do in life. You must fight for it before you get there. Mm. Then, already tell us a bit about your background. Um, where did you grow up and studies? I was born and bred in Lagos yeah, at Motion. I was born about uh, five and a half decades back. My late mother from Lagos Motion, my late father from Lagos Motion. I school primary school, early primary school at Gege. My secondary school, St. Matthew College, UK, Waya, Lagos. I went to Women's Training Center in Diaba, Abekuta. After that, I work, I have a work experience with NDLA. I have a work experience with Fisman Construction Company. Then I work. I have a work experience before I became an honorable member in 2007, in 2007 with Good Intention Services Nigeria Limited, where I spent seven and a half years. Uh, from there, I became an honorable member. Um, I spent four years 
time, or just one time in the House of Assembly, 2012, I was appointed as a commissioner in the House of Assembly Service Commission. The only lady in the commission, when the commission was newly com commissioned. So I am the only lady up to date. Very good. In the next few weeks, I'm going to resign. Um, I think that is where I stop for now. Okay. The campaign has started. So as you go around asking um, for votes and all that, uh, what are, what's going to be the message that you're telling your people in the federal um, constituency? I have been telling them, I've been singing the gospel music for them to come out in mass to come and vote for APC. And we will continue to tell them, we will be campaigning the way we can campaign. Do you know what they call Lomolu Abi outside now? We have a lot of our people in Lomolu Abi. The way they, camp, they, they, they campaign for Omolu Abi, the same thing they campaign for House of Rep, Senate, um, House of Assembly, and our governor, Sonwoolu. Thank you very much.